what is going on everybody? How you doing? It's Mike Chen here. Dan Chen here. What's up? So Dano, I've always had a uh, love-hate relationship with Chinese supermarkets. Yeah, me more hate, a little bit of love. Yeah, you would because yeah. you're a little more picky than I am. Yeah. Now yeah. I love going to them because sometimes you just got to go because they have things that Western supermarkets may not have. Absolutely true. But I also hate going to them because uh, the experience is kind of horrible. Absolutely true. You know because it's never relaxed. There's always a ton of people. Yep. And it's never a fun shopping, chilling experience. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes I go to Western supermarkets and just browse around, but at the Chinese supermarkets, I go there, get what I need, and get out of here. So here are 10 things you will find in every single Chinese supermarket. And of course, we left out some of the most common things. These are some of the things uniquely that you will find in Chinese supermarkets. That's right. Number one, tofu. Some people, when you mention tofu, probably think, yeah, tofu, I know tofu, that soft white stuff. But did you know that you can find over a dozen types of tofus at Chinese supermarkets? Maybe more than a dozen. Maybe yeah. two dozen. Maybe dozens. Even the regular white tofu can be separated between silk and tofu. Super silk and tofu. Medium tofu. Firm tofu. Kind of firm or super firm tofu. Then you got, you know, the frozen tofu, fried tofu, dry tofu. The list goes on and on. You know what they don't have? What? Freshly made tofu. But you know what they do have? Sometimes yeah. they have the self-serve tofu. Oh. A bunch of, you know, those blocks of tofu sitting in a tub of water and you just go and grab one. Okay, if I ever made a guide to Chinese supermarkets, I'd be like, do not go and get a self-serve tofu block from that liquid. Number two, baby shrimp. You will find this in every Chinese supermarket. Little tiny weenie baby shrimp. Yeah, this might freak some people out because not only are they little baby tiny shrimp, they also have little bitty tiny eyeballs. But mostly they're just typically sitting in a bin where you can serve yourself and just laying there right out in the open for people to grab or spit on. Yeah, I love these little dried shrimp. They're a must have to flavor your soups. Yeah, I love them too. But why are they just like laying out there in the open? Yeah, that's kind of gross, but it's kind of like Chinese medicine, right? All that stuff is laying out there anyways. Yeah, but this goes into your soup yeah, that you it. will enjoy. Yeah. And imagine like if somebody just like, you know, I love to double yeah, dip. you do. What if I just put my hand right in there? And then your hand's all sweaty? Yeah. Then you're just like eating like my hand Dance sweat. sweat. Oh. Number three, live seafood. Yeah, you can't miss that. This. That's like the first thing you notice when you walk into any Chinese supermarket. Yep, there are literally dozens of fish tanks with fish just kind of lounging around. And there's also fish all sliced up sitting on ice in front of all the fish tanks. And it's not your typical salmon or tuna either. You know one seafood that they always have that's live? What? Little baby crabs. Of course. All the time. Yes. And they're just like chilling there with their claws. Dude, I used to, uh, when I was little, the first thing I would do at a Chinese restaurant is go play with those crabs. But they're like dinner. I know, but I would play, play with, with it. Food. I play with Don't my play food. Don't play with your food. And then like I, I would I would actually rip off the arm. Oh! Yeah, yeah that's horrible. Yep. And then I would walk away. Oh my God. Like, I'd be like, oh, I didn't do that. Oh, that's, that's horrible. Right. You're yeah. such a, oh, that's horrible, buddy. Okay, so beyond the typical salmon and tuna that you'll find, you also find things like eels. Yep. Which are awesome, by the way. Yep. Like sharks and like you said, crabs and frogs. Have you seen the frog? I, I have to tell you something. Um, I've seen the frogs, the live frogs, and we're not talking about little no, frogs. Big, we're talking about the, I I can't look at them because it makes me want to throw up. And they're all like, they're, they're like 20 deep. It's not like they're all sitting in like a flat, long thing. I think this is like the worst thing to be one of these living creatures. You're basically in a tank and this is not a comfortable tank. This is like on death row yeah. in a like, can you imagine like you're in a room with like 40 people made for a room for 10. Yep. You're just like squishing and around each other yeah. until you're sliced off and eaten. Exactly. It's like horrible. It's horrible. Number four, the smell. Oh yeah, you guys know what we're talking about. You know how you walk into like the Whole Foods in Western supermarkets, it would sometimes smell like roasted chicken. Yes. Because you know, they're like making rotisserie chicken right on site. I love the rotisserie chicken. Yeah. And where you may smell like something like baked goods, oh, yeah. something pleasant. Mm, yeah. And then you walk into a Chinese supermarket and it smells not so nice. And that also has a lot to do with the uh, live seafood that we talked about before. I mean, dozens of fish tanks and all that fish meat sitting on ice in the open. It's not a good smell. 
Yeah, um, also like in West, in like Whole Foods, they have a lot of live poultry, live, I mean not live poultry, they have a lot of meat as well, but they do it in the back. And they've got, it's, and it's a separate- in a case. It's in a case, it's a separate room. Yeah. In Chinese uh, restaurants- it's sitting there. They're butchering it right there. They're like- flies flying uh, on there. Uh, you know what's the worst? What? When you see like the chicken juices, the raw chicken juice just uh, trickle. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think people you who have been eating, I'm watching about. this video are just, just threw up. A Chinese <laughs> grocery is the only pla is the only grocery you have to wear ring boots when you get to that live poultry yeah, area. We're gonna we're gonna get to that as well. Oh. Number five, fish balls. Do you think everyone knows what fish balls are, Mike? Uh, well, if you ever ate at a Cantonese restaurant or a hot pot place before, then you know what fish balls are. But if you didn't know, it's basically what it sounds like: little balls made from you know fish. Yeah, and there's like dozens of different types of them. You know what's scary about this? Is that you don't quite know what parts of the fish went into this fish ball. Oh, that's true. It's like a hot dog. It's like, hot dog. It's like equivalent of a hot dog. It's the Asian equivalent to a hot dog. There could be like fish eyeballs and fish lips. They don't just come in balls too. They come in uh, squares, all different kinds of shapes and that's sizes. Kind of, that's yeah. kind of shady. I don't know about those things. I know yeah. people think they're delicious. I just find them a little horrifying. And also the way you get them, it's kind of weird. Like the dried shrimp, they just have them exposed. Yeah. Whatever happened to packaging? Yeah, exactly. You, you know what it is? They have them in packaging, but Chinese people are probably like, why do I want the, why do I want to pay 20 I cents want to extra? Choose. Yeah, I want to pay less and grab my own and, and, fish and balls. And they're like, I want this ball, not that ball. Number six, bowls. Every Chinese supermarket sells bowls. And I mean a lot of bowls. Yeah, because we use bowls for everything. Soups, uh, rice, uh, noodles, uh, noodle soups, uh, rice noodle soups. Okay, you get the point. Basically, we use bowls for every single food item. You know, in my house, we all have our designated bowls that other people can't use. Exactly, that's to prevent people like you who love to double dip. We also have that too in my house. Bowls can do so much more than plates. They can't eat soup in a plate. You can. Yeah. Number seven, teas. Oh, I know you like this one, bro. Yeah, I love teas. All right, uh, he took me to a tea shop once. It was so expensive, each sip you took was about like $10. Yeah, so I took a sip, and you're there enjoying it. Oh, it was so delicious! I took a sip, I'm like, yeah, it tastes like lifting. I have no idea. I'm not and everyone looked at Mike and was like, get out! You can find dozens of types of teas in the Chinese supermarkets, and a lot of them claim to have a lot of health benefits, too. Yeah, I don't know about these teas, like uh, diet teas, like stomach ache cure tea. That's kind of a weird label. Uh, cholesterol tea and high blood pressure tea? You know what my favorite tea is? What? Mia gave me this one. What is it? Colon cleansing tea. That is real. It exists. I have a box at home. Okay, well, I, what I don't understand about the high blood pressure lowering yeah. tea is when you're drinking tea, when you be lowering it's, your it's, blood It's pressure, redundant because tea is supposed to lower action, it anyways. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Number eight, rice cookers. Every Chinese supermarket carries rice cookers. Because every Asians love rice. Yes. We'll tell you more about that later. Yeah, and it's not like the Walmart rice cookers where there's like two kinds and they only come with one button. You know that button? That yeah, little the, thing the, in the front? It's like... Yeah, our rice cookers are fancy. You can cook like anything you want in them. Like things besides rice. Yeah. You know, like the Asian fancy rice cooker is like the bread maker for like Western families. Yeah. Cause I can't use that thing. Oh, this, is, this is like make this. I'm like what? It's, I have, I have I was, a really fancy one that's. Pink. I've never made bread in my yeah. life. Anyways, you can cook noodles, soups, and even fried rice in that rice cooker. Ooh, like beyond rice, you can cook fried rice. That's yeah. amazing. Number nine, dumplings. You can walk into a Chinese supermarket, and there will literally be dozens upon dozens of different frozen dumplings and buns you can buy. You know, I used to live off frozen dumplings. I called it the dumpling diet, except it has like the opposite effect of a diet. Yeah. You know what my favorite brand was? What? This Taiwanese brand, Tianwei or something like that. Yeah. You know I, that one? I, I like Jiaozi Wang. Jiaozi Wang. Jiaozi yeah. King. Number 10, smileless cashiers. Yeah. I've been to Chinese supermarkets in Boston, Chicago, LA, and New York, and I have yet met a cashier at one of these places that smile. Yeah, Chinese people don't like to smile, period. 
I, I get that, but come on, make me feel welcome. Uplift my Chinese supermarket shopping experience. But you know what? They're really good at uh, bagging glass bottle sauces. Oh, I like that. They always wrap yeah. it in newspaper. I really like that. And you like can that. always go home and it's never cracked. Yeah. So yeah, that's why it's always a love-hate relationship exactly. between us and Chinese supermarkets. I remember I was supposed to go buy something at a supermarket this past Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, I was in the Western supermarket, they and I could have not it. find I could not find <sighs> regular peanuts. A lot of planters dry roasted peanuts. I wanted I regular peanuts. Wasn't there. You know, I'm from Shanghai. Yeah. I love the preserved vegetables. Yeah. There's, you're not gonna find a preserved vegetable. Find some pickles. That's the only, yeah. come on. Like, like Westerners are like, well, just have some pickles. No, Chinese people have pickled cabbage, pickled radish. Uh, our pickle stuff <sighs> goes good with rice. Pickles don't go good with rice. American pickles do not go no. good with rice. No, they don't. It goes good with burgers. No, they don't. Yeah. 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 That's why it's love-hate, because I, I love all the things they have, but I hate being there. All right, guys, let us know what you love or what you hate about Chinese supermarkets. Thanks for watching. See ya. Peace.